New Swag City, what up, man? You kicking it with your boy Elliot. I'm here with my bro Melvin Ingram, future NFL first round pick. <clears throat> but um, matter of fact, I'm gonna let him introduce himself. And let y'all get more acquainted with him. Uh, Melvin Ingram, defensive end slash outside linebacker, University of South Carolina, 2012 draft rookie. What are some of your uh, accomplishments you've achieved since uh, college? Today? Uh, since college, my last, my last senior, my senior year at University of South Carolina. I was a first team All America, first team All SEC. How's this whole NFL thing, man? How's it How's it going? Uh, it's It's been crazy. It's been a real intense process, but it's just a a process you dream about when you're a kid. It's just something that a lot of kids dream about, but a lot of kids don't get to experience it. So when you get the opportunity to experience it, you you got to thank God on numerous occasions just just to be blessed to have this opportunity. So. It's just a, a process that I'm soaking up, and uh, memories is just something that people hold on to, and it's something I'm trying to trying to remember for the rest of my life. Yeah, I understand, man. Um, what? Like, when did you when did you first start playing football? Uh, when I was a child. Uh, I've been playing football ever since I can remember. Like, I can't remember a year without going going without football. So, I really can't say an age because it's it's been since I can remember. What are some of the uh, NFL players you look up to, or you know what I'm saying? You would say you base your game on since day one, been Ray Lewis since day one. Yeah, Ray Lewis is a beast, man. So like, that's who you do. You, do you take do you take like some of your game plan from him? Do you watch his tapes or how do you? Yeah, it's, it's, you it's a lot. I try to pattern myself at them because I feel like there's a wrong and a right right way to play football, and I feel like the way he plays football is the right way. He's he's a great inspirational figure on and off the field and. And him with his obsession with being around the football, he, he just got a relentless effort to be around the football on every play. And I feel like when you get that mentality on the football field, then you can be successful. Then you can call yourself a self a dominant football player. What was some like inspiration? What really inspired you to want to play football? Uh just just growing up where I come from, you know back where we from, like it's a lot of people don't make it out and, and sports was like just a, a a way to relieve stress, like anger just <laughs> Knowing you come from a less less fortunate background, not having a lot, and then be, being able to see people on TV who are doing it for doing something they love to do and getting paid a lot of money for it. A lot of people can sit and say money ain't the reason they play football, but they will be sitting there telling a lie. You can be passionate about it. I love the game of football. It's my heart. I don't know what I'd do without it. But in, in the end, the ultimate goal is is to provide a better way for your family to get them out, get them out of that less and less uh, fortunate situation that you that they're in. Yeah, I respect that. I mean. A high school growing up, you used to be a beast. Like you was on the basketball team with me, and at the same time, you were still playing football. How did you like? How did you make that transition to just stick with straight football and not play basketball? Uh, it it was to be honest, basketball was my first love, so it it was kind of hard actually. But it's just a reality when reality set in. Like, what what could I be better at? What what I had a better opportunity of of being able to provide a better way for my family and with a basketball. It's only five people on the court, so it's it's less scholarships to go to college. It's less people to get drafted. But with football, you you got twenty two people on the football field at one time, so it, it's it's a better opportunity. The odds the odds are against you in basketball. So uh, I felt like I was I was good at football, and I was fortunate enough to get a scholarship and go to college and, and made the best of opportunity. Yeah, I want to ask you about. Um, I remember the time when I came to visit you. And you were, you was actually injured, and you had yeah. That's how, how did that how did that affect you? Like, tell them like what happened. Uh, I broke my foot playing basketball actually in the off season. And being without football for that one year of my life, it just it just make you appreciate the game a whole lot more. It just make you when you come back, it made me go that much harder. Like, this is this is my life. This is all I know. And when I came back, it it was just a mentality of. I'm a grind no matter what, and can't nobody change that. It, that foot injury was, I, I always tell people, the foot injury was one of the best things that ever happened to me. Because it really level-headed me, made me more mature to the game, made me more mature to life. It just it just gave me a, a whole nother fire. What advice can you give to uh, people out there uh, in the community that, that actually look up to you and kids out there that want to be like you? What can you tell them? Like? Just, just always stay hungry. With, 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 a, with a great work ethic and, and going to school and, and doing everything the right way and putting putting all your faith in God, then no one can stop you. Just just always do things full speed no matter what you're doing. Do it like it's going to be your last time doing it because you never know when it can be taken away from you. New Swag City, Melvin Ingram. This year's Rookie of the Year, I promise you. Defensive Rookie of the Year, I promise you. And soon to be Pro Bowler.
Might be an MVP. Trust me, though. I believe in him. This is my brother right here. New Swag City. I'm out, man. Next time.